Let me get your reaction. First of all, Senator, thank you so much for joining us to this awful, awful tragedy in Maine. The U.S. has now gone through 566 mass shootings just this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive. Uh, what's going on now? How do you see this unfolding? Well, my heart is breaking for Lewiston and the community. Obviously, in Connecticut, we've gone through a horrific uh, version of this in Newtown. I, I mean, listen, this is just ridiculous. I, I mean, why on earth does this country I extend a permission structure to mass shooters by handing them military-style assault weapons that are designed, literally designed, to kill as many human beings as efficiently and as quickly as possible. It is not a coincidence that every single one of these individuals, mostly men who are having breaks with reality, go and grab themselves the same exact weapon. Why is it always an AR-15 or an AR-15 style weapon? Why? Because these are weapons designed to kill 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people as quickly as possible. Uh, we don't allow them for sale in Connecticut, but I tell you, I don't run into a lot of um, hunters in Connecticut, uh, a lot of sportsmen in Connecticut. I don't run into a lot of people that just want to defend themselves and their home who feel that they can't do those things simply because they can't buy an assault weapon. So it's time that we get these off of the streets because it's difficult sometimes to find these needles in a haystack, these individuals who are having breaks with reality. Maybe we should have caught this guy. But at the very least, if they can't get their hands on weapons that kill mass numbers of people, we can save lives. And it's just time for my Republican colleagues to wake up to that reality. That's where the American public is. I wish it was where my Republican colleagues were in the Senate and in the House. Democratic Congressman Jared Golden of Maine just spoke at this news conference, which we had in Lewiston. I want to play a key moment from his remarks. Listen to this, Senator. I have opposed efforts to ban deadly weapons of war like the assault rifle used to carry out this crime. The time has now come for me to take responsibility for this failure, which is why I now call on the United States Congress to ban assault rifles like the one used by the sick perpetrator of this mass killing in my hometown of Lewis and Maine. For the good of my community, I will work with any colleague to get this done in the time that I have left in Congress. Senator, what do you make of that? Well, I, I don't know Representative Golden personally. I know that he's a pretty conservative uh, member of the House of Representatives, uh, and he is coming to the same reality that many others have, which is that these weapons don't deserve to be on the streets of America. You can protect people's Second Amendment rights, but just make sure that folks don't have access to the weapons of war. Um, but I wish it didn't take members of Congress to have to experience a mass shooting in their own congressional district to come to this reality. I'm glad that Representative Golden has made this decision, um, but why does it have to happen over and over and over again to have these conversions? Um, this is what America wants. Republicans and Democrats think that these weapons should be off the street, and it's time that we get it done. We'd just save a ton of lives if we um, said, you know what, these weapons belong in the hands of law enforcement and the military, not in the hands of civilians. So what do you think the current prospects are for actual legislation, Senator, addressing gun violence? Do you think the prospects are good that it could pass the Congress right now? Are you encouraged, for example, by what you heard from Congressman Golden? I'm certainly encouraged, and I don't disagree with what my colleague Senator Collins said at this press conference. She noted that we did pass the first significant uh, gun violence bill last year in Congress, uh, this Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, a bill that I wrote. It uh, was opposed by the NRA. We got Republican votes for it. And in fact, murder rates in this country have dropped since we passed that bill by um, double digits, 12 percent in the biggest cities all across this country. But mass shootings haven't dropped. Um, and that is because these mass shooters, because they have access to these assault weapons, can continue to carry out these crimes. I, I, listen, I think that it's probably not likely that we are going to pass an assault weapons ban while Republicans are in charge of the United States House of Representatives. I don't know the new speaker. I, I don't know his views on guns. Uh, I'll, I'll cross my fingers and hope that he's reasonable. Um, but it's probably going to take some elections um, before we can pass uh, something like what Representative Golden is calling for. Yeah, we often hear about uh, new legislation to pass greater gun control legislation uh, following a mass shooting. Then usually nothing much happens. We know this suspect, Senator, was suffering from mental illness. 
Many Republicans have now responded by saying that shows we're dealing with a mental health crisis in our country as opposed to a gun violence crisis. How do you respond to that? It's just not true. We have a mental health crisis in this country. There's no doubt about it. But we don't have a bigger mental health crisis in America than we, they have in other countries. There's no evidence that there's, for instance, more mental illness in America than there is in European countries or Asian countries. Uh, no evidence that we spend less money on treating mental illness than those countries. So why do we have a gun violence rate that's 20 times higher than all those other nations if we don't have more mental illness? Why? Because people who are having a break from reality in this country can easily, like getting a bottle of water, get their hands on a military-style assault weapon. Other countries don't allow that to happen. And so the difference, the reason why America is a more violent place is not because we have more mental illness, it's because we just don't care about stopping people with serious mental illness or criminal records from getting guns like other countries do. And if we changed that, we would see a dramatic reduction in the number of homicides and mass shootings that we see. Yeah, people all over the world are watching and wondering what's going on in the United States of America right now. And they say that every time there's a mass shooting and nothing much happens to change the law. Senator Chris Murphy, thank you very much for joining us.